Good evening, and welcome to another edition of the Monsters Den here on CA Tranquility. I am your host, Pete Pardo. Today we've got a triple feature and some honorable mentions of films from the great Boris Karloff. Another one of the icons of horror, another one of my favorite actors of this generation, okay? Thrilled audiences in the 30s, the 40s, even a little bit in the 50s, even into the 60s. Okay, up until his very last days, he was still cranking out some seriously creepy film roles for many of the major studios. I got three really good recommendations for you here, and then I'm just going to offer up a couple others at the end of the show. So first, we're going to go to 1933, British horror film called The Ghoul. Kind of a similar, in a weird sort of way, um, take on the mummy, sort of. So here you got uh, Karloff plays this professor who gets a hold of this uh, ancient jewel, uh, Egyptian jewel, which he thinks is going to grant him like eternal life, right? So he's like banking on all this. Uh, turns out then he winds up dying, all right? Gets real sick, dies. And then, of course, like, uh, you know, all the people that he was working with, all right, going to try and steal his ideas and all that sort of thing. Well, lo and behold, Professor Morlant, that's Boris Carlos character, winds up coming back to life, all right, as a kind of like a rampaging monster out for revenge. And the whole rest of the movie is him just kind of like... Uh, scouring the countryside looking for all of his uh, former accomplices or you know co-workers you know, cohorts what have you and laying to waste them uh, so it's a it, you know just Karloff not really a big role when you think about it I mean, he's in the beginning of the film then you don't see him for a little while and then he comes back in the whole latter half of the film he's just like this mindless kind of savage out to uh, out to kill these folks but it's still, I mean, it's a 1933 film. It's got, uh, you know, very subdued kind of atmospheric production techniques. Uh, definitely a film of its time. And definitely some, uh, you know, if you like Karloff unhinged with lots of violence, that's what you get here. So a nice uh, kind of classic from the, from the glory days there. All right, next up we got uh, from 1945. It's one of those uh, Val Luton productions, The Body Snatcher. Okay, of course, based on a Robert Louis Stevenson story. Okay, here you got um, Karloff playing a taxi driver who winds up getting into a game of uh, grave robbing, all right, for money for a scientist who uses body parts for his own kind of wicked experiments. And... Uh, You've got also uh, Bella Lugosi in a small role here as well for the for a spell. They're kind of working together, uh, but then uh, you know one thing happens to one of them, and they're no longer working together. And it's like a battle of wits between uh, Karloff's character and the scientist. All right, and uh, pretty another pretty lurid, creepy film. You know anything about grave robbing? Obviously, we've seen lots of films. Uh, over the years, especially early on, where grave robbing was kind of like a hot topic, a thing to do, right? Go take, steal the cadavers, take the body parts for the experiments, right? And do this all on the sly, right? Because none of this is sanctioned by modern science at the time, right? But uh, another good atmospheric film, a lot of moments of dread in this movie, and a really, really good kind of sinister a uh, performance by Karloff, who's actually, you know, plays a, can play a really good bad guy, a really good asshole when he wants to. Um, and he's definitely, definitely that in this film. Very, very good one. And then last of my main recommendations is this cool little film from uh, 1965. Another, uh, this is a British-American film called Die, Monster, Die. Got this one on Blu-ray. So this is Karloff is a much older actor okay so this is one of his latter uh films this also stars nick adams all right popular actor of the time so nick plays this young guy whose fiance 
uh, lives out or go, goes to stay with her family out in the country in Britain. And he hasn't seen her in a while. He goes to uh, there because they're students, I believe. And he goes to visit her at her parents' place. And he starts to notice that things are a little weird here at the folks' house of my fiance, right? He noticed like uh, a lot of the countryside surrounding their house. Uh, they have like a farm kind of, thing, so to speak. Uh, the ground is all burnt and like look like like a fire went through it. Uh, he goes to stay in the house. He notices like uh, the father is a little on the weird side. That's Boris Karloff's uh, character. And, uh, you know, there's weird things going, like, what's the deal with the mother? And um, all of a sudden starting to notice, like, strange noises coming out of the greenhouse. And, you know, the other portion of the house is all blocked off. And at night you hear all these weird noises and whatnot. So, like, what's actually going on here? Um, I won't get too much into uh, the storyline here. But lo and behold, um, Mr. Karloff and the family itself are harboring some pretty, pretty creepy things in this place. And it's up to Nick Adams to kind of get to the bottom of this, uh, along with his fiance to find out what this family is actually doing here. And it's actually, actually the last like half hour of the film, pretty damn intense. And uh, it's kind of hard, it's kind of sci-fi in a little, in a little weird way, um, but definitely pretty cool. Some interesting kind of, um, special effects here in the film for the time not too bad right so again you got a little creature feature here a little sci-fi definitely a thriller good performance by Karloff again he plays like the uh you know the patriarch of the family who's hiding like a really really weird secret right so definitely pretty cool so I definitely recommend that one as well I do have some uh honorable mentions here that I'm just going to kind of go through real quick because I think any Karloff is great Karloff, and there's lots of uh, little B-movies that he appeared in that actually are great watches here in the Halloween season. So we've got uh, a Roger Corman film, The Terror, which has, again, another latter period Karloff film. also stars uh, Mr. Jack Nicholson, one of his early roles. All right, pretty good film right there. Uh, you got kind of sort of a sci-fi-ish film, uh, The Man with Nine Lives. Again, Karloff played the kind of like uh, evil, crazy doctor, like a lot. Did it really well. You know, the mad scientist sort of thing. Uh, him and him and Bela Lugosi both did that really, really well. Uh, here you got a little demented film. Uh, this is a, an older one. This is either from the late 30s or early 40s. I forget exactly when. Um, this is, I'm trying to find the, uh, actually, sorry, this is later, 1957. So this is uh, The Haunted Strangler. All right, another one of those films where, uh, you know, and he always does a good job of kind of like um, messing around with his facial expressions to make him look a little bit more evil. The Haunted Strangler. Uh, here's another latter period one, The Corridors of Blood. Once again, playing like the kind of crazy, demented, mad scientist. And last but not least, uh, The Man Who Changed His Mind. Again, another kind of, uh, you know, mad scientist type of thing, kind of bordering on like thriller, suspense, sci-fi, that sort of thing. All right, so you got all sorts of uh, Boris Karloff recommendations here for you. Uh, those are all fine, but I recommend that if he's going to take any three out of this bunch, definitely do Die, Monster, Die, The Body Snatcher, and The Ghoul. Okay, but there's, you know, there's lots of other Karloff you know, fantastic Karloff films. We've already talked about the Frankenstein films. Uh, you got uh, The Raven and the Black Cats with Lugosi. Those are great. Uh, I didn't believe we've uh, done a show on The Raven here on the channel. So check that out. The Black Cat's going to be coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and lots of other great Karloff films over the years. So there's too many to talk about. You know, him and Bella. Lugosi and Karloff, Legends of Horror, worked on so many killer films in the horror suspense genre. Did a bunch together, lots of them separate. So uh, go check out some Boris Karloff this Halloween season, right? So uh, make sure you visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Lots more Monsters Den episodes coming up over the next couple days as we lead into Halloween this weekend. Chris Allo and I, on Thursday evening, will be doing an episode all on the Italian horror greats Mario Bava. Dario Argento and Lucio Fulci. Rich Catino's coming back on the show for part two of Hammer Horror. 
I'll be doing additional hammer shows uh, throughout the weekend and next week because uh, uh, I'm a big fan. I've also got a show coming up for you maybe tomorrow on Universal's The Wolfman films. All right, Lon Chaney, there's a bunch of those. So that's coming up as well. We've also got more 80s horror. Okay, got, uh, you know, 80s, like kind of Lovecraftian stuff, 80s zombie, more 80s slashers coming up. Uh, so much to cover. So little time, but we've decided we're going to extend this monster's den craze after Halloween and continue it on through the rest of the year. So uh, stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for tons more music all here on Sea of Tranquility. So thank you for watching The Monster's Den. I urge you to come back and experience more monster discussion 